Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and this car here is a 1997 Mercedes-Benz S280. It's a W140 series and we haven't had one of these for quite some time. This particular car is Australian delivered from new and it's done 181,000 kilometres and is actually in very good condition. It drives beautifully, I've driven it. The air conditioning is ice cold. The good thing about the 280 in, com in comparison to the 320, 420 and the 500 is that it's actually quite a bit lighter. This weighs about 1.8 tonnes, whereas the earlier models, which came out in 1993, including the 300 SE weighed about 2.15 and it's because it had an iron block engine. The S280 comes with a V6 engine which develops about 142 kilowatts and amazingly it gets from 0 to 100 in just over 8 seconds. The other reason why these are a bit lighter is that it doesn't have some of the extra options which to be honest you're probably best not having um, on a 280, especially when they get to this age. Things like the soft closed doors, it doesn't have soft closed doors, all it means is you close the door like a normal car. It also doesn't have the hydraulic self leveling suspension, which again is it, it weighs quite a bit that system and it's just more issues to go wrong. So, what it means is this has basically got a V6 engine and a four-speed transmission with air conditioning. So it's very simple. It looks exactly the same as a 500 from the outside and it drives absolutely beautifully as any Mercedes-Benz S-Class, especially the W140 series. It's got a nice big boot. Again, the boot isn't soft closed, you just close it like a normal car. It does have the chrome handle which folds in and out when you open and close it. These are becoming a pretty special car and some people say that they are becoming collectible. Uh, this particular car was designed by Bruno Sacco along with the W126, W124 and many other Mercedes models from that era. What people like about these is everything's overdone. Now they spent so much money in the late 80s and apparently it was around a billion dollars in development and it was more than any manufacturer had ever spent in history on the development of a car. What that means is you get an over-engineered Mercedes Benz and there's nothing wrong with that. Even little things like you've got your double glazed windows for, to keep the heat out and for sound insulation. It's got dual airbags, nice soft leather seats, climate control, it's got electric mirrors. The W140 was one of the first cars in the world to have electric mirrors that fold in at the touch of a button. It's got the two original keys to it. I think this is easily one of the best colour combinations have. It's nice and easy to keep clean. It keeps cool. It's got the eight hole alloy wheels and it's got a set of continental tyres on all four wheels. It's got two remote keys. The service history is amazing. It was serviced by Mercedes-Benz pretty much all the way through up to about 165,000 kilometres. Then it went to an independent after that. In 1994, they updated the series and they were actually trying to make it look smaller because the car was also known as pregnant class in, um, in some countries, including Germany, because it was just too big. Now that it's aged, it's... Uh, it's very much appreciated and there's a lot of W140 fan sites on Facebook, etc. because so many diplomats and important people have had them and they've been in a lot of movies. So 
the tail light, this section here, this used to go all the way down to the bottom, but they put this white line along here, and see how it goes up at the side there. They've put that in there to try and make the car look a bit small, and they've also put in these lines down the side here to again make the car look smaller. The, the earlier version didn't have that line at all, and the car really did look massive. So despite the fact that it's 5.1 metres long, it still looks absolutely gorgeous. The central locking works, as I said, the air conditioning works, and I've said that a couple of times because it's very important with these cars. If the air conditioning does have a major issue, you pretty much have it's, it's you pretty much have to take the dash out, and it can be quite expensive. But I think it's certainly helped that this car's been serviced at Mercedes Benz most of its life. It's got memory electric driver and passenger seat, which was an option on the 280. It's got a four-speed transmission. The five-speed was optional on the 280. The sunroof is optional on the 280, this does not have a sunroof. So we'll start it up. It starts beautifully. You can see all the climate control here, it's got the original radio with the radio code etc. Air conditioning is nice and cold and quiet. The timber is excellent, I'd suggest that this car is being garaged. It does have an adjustable steering column. The sound system's incredible. Again, it's another one of those things they probably over-engineered. It's got about 12 or 13 speakers, and it goes very loud. Um, I, I actually took a W140 in the same colour as this one, and I got a, an amplifier put in the back, and the people at the... Uh, I think it was Strathfield Car Radio said they never ever seen a car with such a good standard system from factory. So you can see in the back you've got a few speakers along here, I believe it's got a subwoofer as well. Um, I do still own a W140, mine is a 93 model and it's a 300 SE and I was going to sell it but in the end I decided to keep it because they're not worth a great deal of money but they're surprisingly economical, reliable, and for me it's like, it's like driving a Rolls Royce. Um, so that's why I decided to keep it, and uh, I very much look forward to driving it on a regular basis. In fact, a video went up on YouTube of that car when I was going to sell it, and it's had about 8,500 views in less than 12 months. So what that means is there are a lot of people out there in the world who have got a lot of interest in these W140s. I can't speak highly enough about the W140 series. Um, there was one which came in here the other day. It was Barolo Red. And they were looking at trading it on another S-Class. They looked at the S-Class. They got back in their 140 and they said, look, I, f I feel like it would be a downgrade because this car is of such high quality, um, much better than than the later model and they decided to keep it so I mean, I, I naturally said look I understand I, I see what you're coming from the newer S classes obviously are a bit more nimble but like they say about the old Mercs there's nothing like closing a door of a Mercedes Benz especially if it's a W140 if you have any questions, please feel free to, to give us a call. My name's Philip again. Um, there's, there's not a lot I don't know about these cars. Uh, as I said, it is in particularly good condition all the way around. Um, aside from the bumper bar, has a few marks, uh, marks on it. They are a very large bumper bar, and over time you can get scrapes down the bottom of the bumper bar, which is easily fixed. But I think when you're buying one of these cars, the important things to look for is service history, which this car has, I would not consider a W140 without that. And you may have to see them online for two, three, four thousand dollars can basically guarantee it's not going to have a service history. You also need to make sure that the air conditioning's work. Air conditioning works because that is expensive. A lot of dealers will say, oh look, it's a second hand car, look to throw some gas in it, she'll be right for lack of a better description, but unfortunately it's just not one of those cars. 
So this car does have working air conditioning, the stereo works, I've driven it home and back, I've sat in traffic, the radiator and all the fans are working perfectly. And uh, it's got very good kilometres. If you look online, I'm sure you'll find them with 200, 300, 400. We had one for sale here, a silver 400 SE, about probably six years ago, seven years ago. It had, back then it had 569,000 kilometres. But if you want to know more about the W140 series, please go on to Google, type in W140, and uh, you'll see a whole series of videos, testimonials, Top Gear. You know, I looked at one at the time. Uh, the, the other thing is this car is a local car. It's always been in Sydney. It's, spent, it's mainly been serviced at McIntosh and Mossman. I think the car came from Mossman, and it's always been in that area. But it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, if you've been looking for a good W140 for under $10,000, and you want to get an Australian delivered car with a history, two keys, original radio, all those things, then, yeah, please come and have a look at this car. Take it for a drive. I'm sure you'll be just as impressed as I was. And I certainly do look forward to hearing from you. You may have heard a couple of planes fly over. That's because we're 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. So if you're interstate, you want to come and have a look at this car, we're not far from the airport. So thanks again for watching. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from you.